General Hospital Spoilers Update for Tuesday, November 19, predicts that Jocelyn Jacks finds Kai Taylor quite attractive from the first meeting. Of course, Jocelyn knows that Kai showed up at Jocelyn and Trina Robinson's apartment to look for Trina. Kai's way of speaking is quite gentle at this time, and Jocelyn feels interested. But Jocelyn knows that she cannot have the ambition to become Kai's new girlfriend. In fact, Kai probably likes Trina, moreover, Jocelyn currently has a boyfriend and does not want to break that again. Speaking of Trina, she currently only sees Kai as a classmate. That means that besides working together in a group with Kai, Trina is almost indifferent to Kai's private life. But then, Kai took the initiative to open up and Trina began to listen. Thanks to this, Trina will also feel that Kai is quite an impressive person. Of course Trina can forget her late ex-boyfriend after meeting Kai, and many predict that they can finally become a new couple. Drew Quartermain and Jason Morgan continue to confront each other again, despite Nina Reeves being present. Perhaps Nina will be the one to stop a new fight, of course Jason will want to attend his ex-girlfriend's funeral and Drew does not want that to happen. This confrontation will not bring any results, then Nina reassures both Jason and Drew that they have two children, Danny Morgan and Scout Quartermain. Drew and Jason cannot continue to confront each other, because the children will feel hurt when their two fathers do not get along. Jason and Drew should be supporting Danny and Scout at this time, not confronting each other. Jason may be even more angry when he sees Nina almost trying to defend Drew, of course Jason may lose control and say that Drew did something bad to Willow Corinthos. Nina certainly won't be able to handle the fact that Drew slept with Nina before, and then slept with Nina's daughter. Luckily for Drew, Jason will temporarily keep quiet about this, no matter how angry he is. Elsewhere, Cody Bell will be the one to comfort and reassure his best friend Dante Falconeri at this time. Dante can't accept having to leave Sam McCall forever. Dante thinks that Sam's death is just a nightmare, and when Dante wakes up, Sam is standing in front of Dante. But whether Dante accepts the reality or not, Sam is dead, Dante will have to go to Sam's funeral and say goodbye to her for the last time. As for TJ Ashford, he will take the initiative to find his girlfriend Molly Lansing Davis. TJ knows that their relationship has been in trouble, but TJ also knows that he can't abandon Molly at this time. Molly is facing grief, when Molly's relatives pass away. Molly needs support, but that support is not TJ as TJ thought. It turns out that Molly has found another man, and is ready to kick TJ out of the house after TJ's visit. Molly argues that their love story is over and Molly wants TJ to find another woman for himself. In fact, Molly does not do so out of selfishness, Molly knows that she will not be able to live happily with TJ when they cannot have children. Christina Corinthos Davis is also suffering after Sam's death. But Christina knows that what she should do now is to be strong, because Christina will be the support for her biological mother, Alexis Davis. Maxie Jones will also appear at Sam's funeral to say goodbye to her best friend. Meanwhile, Maxie can see a strange man and begins to suspect. The appearance of the stranger makes Maxie think that this person is related to Sam's death. Maxie will secretly follow that person, and that puts Maxie in danger. Lucas Jones will eventually be criticized by Sam's son Danny. Danny blames Lucas for everything. Danny even declares to Lucas that he will make Lucas pay for Sam's death, regardless of Lucas's fault.